Hi guys, welcome to the War Room. Today on Tabletop Anarchy we're going to continue our BRS uh, rules videos with taking a look at the clouds and barrage balloons in Blood Red Skies. So, uh, we'll start yep. with clouds, we've got the clouds out on the table. Yeah, so the clouds are out on the table. Um, now, it's... these, it may just look like, you know, bits to make the, the table look a bit different, but they can actually play quite a key role they can, and yeah, yeah. yeah, they can help out quite a lot with your strategy. I love the clouds. I think when people are first sort of getting used to the game, the clouds become like almost a go-to, you know, they become like a magnet They do, for yeah, they do. And the yeah. second you, even if you're not sure about them, once you see somebody else using them right, yes, and... Yeah, yeah. And yeah, I think that's, that's it, it's using them to your advantage. Um, oh, always, always, yeah. I think, speaking of advantage, I like to think of them as the great leveller, because as soon as you hit a cloud, doesn't matter what advantage level you are, it sets your plane down to neutral. So, for example, if this four was to fly into this cloud, it would immediately set him to neutral. So as soon as you hit the clouds, you're neutral. But the best thing about being in those clouds is you can't be seen whilst you're in there. So you can't yeah. be outmaneuvered, you can't be shot at, um, you're completely covered whilst you're in the clouds. Yeah, but on the flip side, you also can't make a pilot uh, no. pilot skill. No. So you can't shoot out. You can't outmaneuver anybody. You can't climb. You can't because climb. You're set you at just, neutral. You're yeah. just at neutral. Yeah. But speaking of that, then, so we start the turn in the clouds, for example. Yeah. You've kind of got advantage to burn for free, haven't you? You have, yeah. The, with how it works, when you exit a cloud, it's always neutral as well. So really, the idea is you may as well burn that advantage to either get yeah, extra turn, extra movement. Bang on a 180, come this way. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So the clouds are quite nice because you can sort of spring a surprise attack Exactly, out yeah. As you say, it's it's a free extra whatever you want to use. Yeah, yeah. So of course, of course. They're quite, quite handy, yeah. One move I always quite like is, you know, if, if you've got a disadvantaged plane that can fly through the clouds, he can come up to neutral by flying through the clouds and then for his pilot action climb up to advantage at the end and that's he can, really yeah. sort of making the most of those clouds. And again it? the other great thing as you say if your plane ends up disadvantaged there are other planes around you if you're going last because you're disadvantaged if you haven't been yet you can go through that use the extra to get away there are there are multiple ways you can do yes, it and yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it can yeah. all be quite sneaky yeah, yeah they're all quite helpful ways which is yeah it's really cool and i think you, you know the, the more you play the more you'll get used to using the clouds to the best of your advantage uh, it's also worth noting they do block line of sight um so yes. not obviously you know line of sight is very difficult to represent in uh, you know an aerial game because it's you know a exactly, 3d yeah. field almost and obviously with the way that the planes work yeah, yeah they're different yeah, levels yeah. and it, it is hard to represent but you yeah. almost you imagine those clouds as a body they're not you know they're not 2d they're 3d exactly you know, yes yeah it could and be this thing they could be that thick you, when so you look at so them so. from the ground you never see a flat cloud they're, yeah, they're yeah. huge you know if you well anybody's been on a plane somewhere abroad yeah, you'll exactly. know, well, yeah even yeah. just looking at them you can see you know yeah, when it's coming in you can clouds. see how big they are and so, you think if you'd flown through that if you were the other side how would you know yeah you how can't, would you know something was there yeah so you can't make an outmaneuver or a shoot action through the through clouds. the clouds yeah. yeah same as if they're in there yeah they're, yeah, they're basically yeah. It's, it's hard cover yes it? you yeah, know? Yeah. and you're completely safe inside of it you can't be seen you can't see you but you can't see out yeah exactly yeah yeah and I think, so what's nice is that you get, you get six in the core set. Yes, yeah, you get six so in the core set. Two small, two medium, and two large. Um, generally, say about 25% of the table would be cloud cover at, at the most. At most, yeah. Um, but you would agree with your opponent beforehand. Yeah. Set them out and then go through your deployment. Yeah, exactly. You, you just take it in turns, lay them one at a time, the same you do to set up your plane. So, you know, if me and Charlie were playing, Charlie would put his first cloud down, I'd put mine down, and you just go like that. And then, yeah, after that, you set your planes up. Yeah, and you're good to you're, go. You're ready to go yeah. then, yeah. So the fun thing that I quite like, if you flip these over, yeah. on the back, we've got the barrage balloons. Uh, and they look great. You know, they, they do, look yeah, they do. Like they I've not played with the barrage balloons yet. Um, no, I've only played with the clouds. But I am intrigued to get them on the board at yeah, some point. Yeah, they're quite good fun. They're a bit, you're a bit different. In fact, they're the complete opposite, I suppose, yes. of the clouds. So yeah. you're not going to block your line of sight. No. Nope. They're not going to give you any sort of cover. Uh, in fact, they only affect disadvantaged planes. Disadvantaged planes yes, going yeah, yeah. into or through, through. them. Yes, yeah. yeah um, so a neutral plane could fly over, land on, fly past, and it's completely and it's, unaffected. Yeah, nothing at all. It's yes, only with yeah. the disadvantaged planes. And if you do go through or land on, then you have to roll a manoeuvres test because obviously these weren't just balloons floating in the sky. They had steel cables yeah. 
attached to the, the cables that made them dangerous. That was it. it. Yeah, it was, it yeah. was the cables that made them dangerous. And obviously, if you fly into those cables, you're they're going to do wings some damage. Off, yeah, yeah. Take your tail off, yeah. etc. Yeah. If they just get hooked on anything, yeah, it's gone. It's, so yeah. a disadvantaged plane. So they say he flies into the clouds there. He makes a, a, a manoeuvre test, so it's his pilot skill plus his manoeuvrability. Plus his manoeuvrability, yeah. He fails it. What happens? He's gone. He's gone. He's gone, he's out. So as you, if he's been shot down. It's it, it, exactly the same as if he's been shot down. You get an extra boom chip, you lose the plane. Yeah, yeah. So it's really not what you want with your disadvantaged planes. No, no. But it might be the only thing. If you've got a disadvantaged plane and you've got to get out of there, or yeah, it yeah. might be your only option so to we run were, that risk. If we were playing a dogfight, let's say you know it was it was your squadron versus my squadron, we could play a dogfight, um, you know, with all the clouds out. Yeah. Play the same dogfight again with exactly the same squadrons, but this time we're going to put down the barrage balloons. Yeah. We've got a completely different game. You have, yeah. A completely and different game. You can mix and match. You yeah. Know, if yeah. you, if, as long as you and your opponent agree beforehand. You know, so maybe Charlie just wants to put down clouds and I just want barrage balloons. Yeah, maybe we want to do each. one of each. Yeah, or, sure. Yeah, and again, it, it really can change the game up, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, it's it's yeah. another layer to the game and it's more things to learn, to practice, to... Yeah, you, know, you can definitely use these to your advantage as well. You see a, an enemy plane sort of fly up to, and you've got the opportunity to bring planes in and disadvantage them. Disadvantage. They've not got any choice. They've got to fly yeah, forward. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, as you say, it, the thing is, it's worth taking the shots. It's worth it, you know. Yeah, even just knock them even down. Even if you've got so, a yeah, rookie and it's on the, it's worth taking the shot because if it works and they go down to disadvantage, their it's next move out. is through. Yeah, yeah. And really then they could be gone for. Cool. Yeah. So. Cool. Cool. Yeah, another great little idea that yeah. just adds another element, and I can't wait to try out the barrage balloons. <laughs> hey, I think it wraps it up as well for us on the clouds and the barrage balloons. Yeah, I think I think that's everything. So uh, thanks, guys. If you like the video, subscribe. Find us on Facebook. Keep up to date with everything that we're doing. And uh, yeah, hopefully you liked it, and we'll see you again next time. Cheers, Cheers guys.